Well, hello friends, beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by the channel. This is the weekly review of our daily chakra energy readings, and this is week 33 review, and these the these are from the dates of August 14th to August 20th of 2022. So it is the last full week of Leo season and next week we will be starting in, well, we will be coming into Virgo season. So yeah, so let's check out the energies. So all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is something here for you. So I want to thank you for being here because I appreciate each and every one of you that take some time to watch these videos and to tune in with your own energies. So, for this 33rd week of 2022, we, look at this little fly, I guess the little fly likes the Mother Earth card. <laughs> um, so, for this week, we had five of our chakra energies come through. So we had the crown chakra, solar plexus, root chakra, heart chakra, and third eye chakra all come through this week. So thinking back during the week, this was the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So if you can remember what was going on during your week, then think back as we go along. So last week on Sunday, we had the crown chakra affirmation come out for us. Card number 95, I am divine and inspired. So think back to last Sunday and think about the energies that you were feeling that day. Was there something that came through that made you divine, feel divine and inspired? Or did you help someone else to define, to feel divine and inspired? So just think back to Sunday the 14th and see how this energy played into your own personal journey. So all of these cards and all of this energy was for all of the week so even though it came out on Sunday this you could have still feel this felt this energy at any time during the week so just think back to when it is you feel like this energy came through for you so Monday card number 44 came out for us with solar plexus stones Crystals can be used in various ways to balance the life force flowing through the chakras. Citrine can be used to cleanse and balance this chakra as it increases personal empowerment and confidence. Yellow tourmaline is good for detoxifying the body. Amber can be used to increase mental clarity and promote confidence. So, as well as the stones that are represented in this card, I also feel like the message of, um, I feel like also the messages of each one of these is important for us to realize as well. So think back to Monday. Was there something that came into your own journey that helps you to increase your personal empowerment and your confidence? And I just saw 444 on the counter for the <laughs> for the video 
and so with this card also being 44 you know that has to do with like our spiritual protection our angel protection our guardian angels around us so was there did you feel a guardian angel presence around you that made you feel more confident so it could have been something to that effect also maybe you decided that you wanted to start detoxifying your body however that applies so think back to Monday and see how this energy applies to you or even at any point during the week and see when this energy applies to you because I know that I believe it was on Friday I did do a detox for my own body so even though this came through on Monday it was Friday that I actually did a detox so so however it applies so it's just the energy of the week so we also uh, so on Tuesday we had the energy of a root chakra affirmation coming through card number 13 and it says I am nourished and supported by Mother Earth I am nourished and supported by Mother Earth so think back to your energy on Tuesday or you know just think back to see when there is an energy of possibly like grounding or having to do with you getting out and realizing that you are always supported by Mother Earth Mother Earth is our the support that is always there for us every time we wake up and we walk outside we are being held up by Mother Earth like of course it is our own legs and everything but it is Mother Earth that is here and because of that we are allowed to be here so that is um, an important thing for us to remember so think back to Wednesday and on Wednesday we had the energy of the chakras and yoga come through card number six six is the number of balance so chakras and yoga balance each other and yoga is the best way to move energy through the chakras so with this card we were just giving the information of in yoga the life force energy also known as prana travels through the body in a series of channels called nadi these channels intersect at points of intensified energy called chakras <laughs> when energy becomes blocked it triggers physical mental or emotional imbalance that manifests in symptoms such as anxiety lethargy or poor digestion an easy way to align open and unblock your chakras is through yoga this can help move energy in your body so this card came through for us on Wednesday and I feel that it was just a reminder to us that yoga is one of the best ways to move energy through our chakras so if you feel that there was any that you have any blocked energy in any of your chakras then doing some yoga poses specified for that chakra is a good way to help the energy un become unblocked and move so so however that applies to you within your own journey however whichever chakra it is you feel needs to be unblocked that is for you to find out through your own inner guidance so we also had for Thursday a heart chakra affirmation come through card number 57 and it says love is my guiding truth in life I give and receive love effortlessly and unconditionally so love is my guiding truth in life I give and receive love effortlessly and unconditionally so think back to your energies on Thursday or just think back to Thursday in general and what how did this particular card come into play did you realize or notice yourself 
allowing yourself to be guided by love instead of fear? Were you giving and receiving love effortlessly and unconditionally? Maybe you forgave someone that you have never that you know you've been holding on to negative feelings for for a long time. However, it applies to you. You will know. But I also I feel that this heart chakra affirmation coming through was coming through to remind us to allow love to be our guiding truth, to be guided by love and not by fear. So when you are guided by love, it means that when you make your choices, you are making them out of a love and a faith and and a desire, you know of your highest good your highest outcome so yeah and putting trust in that and not allowing anything negative to come in so so for friday our root af our root chakra came through with a card number 17 root chakra stones and it says there are a few healing stones that can be used to open, balance, and heal the root chakra. Red carnelian is historically worn for strength and courage. Black tourmaline is used for spiritual grounding. Finally, obsidian, which is a stone of protection. All of these stones can be used for cleansing and balancing the root chakra. So think back to Friday. Did any of these stones come up in your journey did any of these stones black tourmaline or obsidian did you you know see them or read about them see somebody wearing them think about them however it applies to you within your own journey you will know but with root chakra stones I mean we had two cards coming through for stones for our lower sh or for our lower chakras root chakra and solar plexus so i feel that that means that we are requiring grounding and also um i feel it is not only that but our own personal empowerment within what it is that we are doing each and every day so you know so go and ground yourself go outside walk barefoot that's a good way to initiate grounding within ourselves we need those negative ions from mother earth and like we said we are nourished and supported by mother earth and we are nourished in the way that when we walk barefoot on the grass we are exchanging negative ions with the earth that keep us healthier that keep us from getting sick because most of the time when we do get sick it is a buildup of protons or positive ions in our body when we release those and get more negative ions in our body it allows us to be more balanced so that's something that we should all be doing if you live by a beach go walk on the beach you know, if you live by trees or in a forest, you can go and just put your feet in the ground or just go outside of your house and put, you know, put your feet in the grass for like 30 minutes and see how that makes you feel. See how you feel after that. So I know with that, I did order for my dad for help with his stroke recovery I don't know if you guys can hear the rain but it just started raining out here <laughs> so that's definitely a way to connect with Mother Earth that that is Mother Earth nourishing us literally with rain because water is the basic of life we are 73% water so whenever it rains I love it I absolutely love it so Okay, back to what I was saying with the grounding. Um, I did, well, my dad ordered some of the earthing products so that he can help himself with grounding. 
with his stroke recovery. So we're going to see how those products work. I'm super excited because I do have a good feeling about them. Okay, now for Saturday, last but not least, we had the third eye chakra affirmation come out. Card number 79, I am insightful and intuitive. I am insightful and intuitive. So, think back to Saturday and think back how, how this affirmation applied to you. I know that within my own journey, I definitely was feeling more intuitive. Like, I know, like, when this card came out, I was feeling like I was being more insightful and intuitive. And so, this affirmation coming out was only a confirmation of what I was feeling. So, think back to how you were feeling on Saturday, or even at any point during the week. Did you notice yourself feeling more insightful? Did you notice yourself feeling more intuitive? Did you notice your intuit your intuition being more in line and a lot more accurate? However that applies to you within your own journey, you will know. But yeah. So these are the energies for week thirty three. I feel like this was a really great week for all of us like energetically and as far as our chakras go I feel that it was a really really great week so let's read the affirmations once again crown chakra affirmation I am divine and inspired root chakra affirmation I am nourished and supported by mother earth heart chakra affirmation love is my guiding truth in life I give and receive love effortlessly and unconditionally. Then, third eye chakra affirmation, I am insightful and intuitive. So, we had the root and the crown, the heart, and then the third eye. So, that's a good kind of, most of it were our upper chakras, but it was a good with the root chakra a good way to remind us how to ground so that's the review for week 33 I hope that you all found something that resonated with you and if you did then please feel free to like the video share the video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below if you so choose so thank you once again for stopping by I will see you in the next one